In this video, I will show you how to create a Spark page. This is the example of a um, goal setting or reflection page. And it's quite easy to set up even for our younger students. So I'm just gonna click on the home button and I'm gonna click right here where it says web page. And so the first thing I want to do is add a title. And I can also click on themes and change my theme out to something else. Okay, that'll also change the font. I can add a subtitle if I like. What I can also do, click back here, is this little plus button is to add anything to your site. And so this is adding it to the header. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a photo and I'm gonna find a free photo. And sometimes I just like to search background. So we'll just put this one there. And then the next thing I can do is either add photo text i can add buttons video a photo grid which is going to be like a collage of photos or i can add a glide show this is going to be like a slideshow of photos i can also split my layout so that i have an image on one side and something else on the other okay, so i'm going to delete that layout and so just like I did before with the goal setting, I'm going to go ahead and add text and I'm going to start with a heading and I'm going to just call this beginning of year goals. And then all I need to do is just click on the plus button and I can choose to add text. And if I don't click on one of these headings, it's just going to be a normal text. So I'm going to so let's say that after I put in my goals, I created a video for my goals. I can click on this video and I can embed a YouTube video or I can embed a Spark video. So I'm going to copy the publish link from my video. And I'm going to come back over here and paste it in. And hit save and so let's say that's my goal setting video okay then I can add in a reflection piece and then I can go ahead and put in a new header and maybe this time I created a picture of my goals so I'm going to just upload that. And this is one that I created in Adobe Spark. So you would just download it and then you can upload it. And so maybe this time I am going to do a photo grid. And so you can find free photos. You can upload the photos. I'm just going to grab some that I have. Make sure you hold down that uh, control key when you're selecting your photos. Okay. And so it put it into a grid for me and I would just click save. And I can add a caption to that if I'd like. Okay, so what I can also do is preview this. Okay. So there's my title, beginning of the year, middle of the year, and the end of year. And then I would just click on this X. I can also put it in present mode. So if this is a presentation that I'm doing for my class, I can click on present and I can present it this way. Okay, so this is just a quick tutorial for using Spark page. 
If you have any other questions about how to use the features of Spark Page, you can check out our Adobe Spark checklist.